Good evening. Part of the terrifying incident was caught on a home security camera. A warning, some of the footage is disturbing, but you should know the dog is recovering and is expected to be okay. CTV's Austin Delaney's live near Warden in St. Clair with more in Austin. This happened in a residential neighborhood. It sure did, and just so frightening for that 10-year-old girl. She told me she didn't know what to do when a coyote started chasing her and her dog. But home security video shows the dog, a Yorkie, knew exactly what to do. Protect her. <laughs> Lily Kwan screams for help, pulling her 6-year-old rescue Yorkie by her leash while a coyote chases them, attacking her dog, Macy. The 10-year-old had recently seen postings of warnings that a coyote was chasing kids in the Warden St. Clair neighborhood. I thought, am I next? What's going to happen to me? Lily said she had to drop the leash because Macy wouldn't follow her. I ran to the sidewalk and started screaming for help, and no one heard me. Um, I just saw this coyote trying to attack my dog and I tried to ring on people's doorbells and knock on people's doors but um, this one neighbor actually let me in. What happened next captured on home security we see Macy turning around and confronting the coyote protecting Lily. She's a super brave dog. Um, I love her so much and I just thought this tiny dog could protect this huge human being. Um, trying to fight off this huge coyote. Macy is in ICU at the local vet, having surgery to treat multiple puncture wounds from the wild animal. Lily's mom was out, but has seen the video. My dog would do anything for our family, so I'm, I'm actually not surprised that she did that. Dorothy Kwan says she is shocked at how bold the coyote was. I would have never guessed that a coyote would, you know, would come out during the day and especially with someone screaming and yelling it still was not phased it just kept coming after her and our dog you know despite all the yelling and you know it's quite aggressive kwan says there are coyote sightings in the neighborhood she was told by the ministry it is tracking the coyotes with electronic collars Quan says she's frustrated no one will trap them, but feels lucky Macy survived and protected Lily. She's our little hero. But after the surgery, the little hero is facing a costly vet bill. A GoFundMe campaign has been launched to help pay those bills. And the Quan family tells me Macy is getting better, but she has a fever, so she's spending one more night with the vet. Reporting live, I'm Austin Delaney.